Today on Football Analyzed, about a year ago I made this video, a Foden analysis. I wasn't very good at making videos back then and it didn't really do justice to the player he is and the tips that I can give you guys. In the meantime, Foden has risen to a world class level. He isn't a prospect anymore, he is a beast. But why is this? What makes him so good? This is player analysis by Football Analyzed. Before we jump into it, I have to ask that you subscribe. And why not? Because you will receive high quality football analysis posted every single Monday, Wednesday and Friday. A huge win-win. Let's go. Foden fakes a shot. Faking a shot opens up space. Then Foden uses this space to take a real shot. A shot that he fires perfectly into the back of the net. Foden makes his run in front of the defender and, and then uses immaculate technique to score the goal. He uses the momentum that was already on the pass to guide it through the defender's legs and into the back of the net. Again, we see Foden making a perfect run in between the defenders. And then again, uses immaculate technique coupled with the momentum on the ball to give the keeper absolutely no chance. Just look at the way he guides the ball in. Foden is left with a pretty easy shot on goal, and most attackers would shoot for the far corner in this situation, but Foden is smart enough to see where the keeper's standing, and then use the keeper's positioning to find the back of the net. De Bruyne plays a great pass into Foden, and he's now one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. And I'm sorry that the camera angle isn't very good, but he uses his immaculate technique to chip the keeper. When the ball falls to him, Foden is in the perfect position to score a goal. And oh my god, he catches it perfectly on the volley and rifles the ball into the roof of the net. The ball is played into Phil Foden, and yet again, we see him not put too much power on the ball, he just redirects the momentum of the pass. Foden takes a touch to the left to get the keeper off balance. And once he's off balance, he rifles the ball into the back of the net. The keeper has no chance. This is another perfect example of Foden simply using the ball's momentum and redirecting it into the far corner of the net. Notice how he twisted his body to add more power. Foden could have shot earlier, but he cuts off the defenders with his dribbling, so no one's going to block him. And then he tucks it away very neatly. Foden magically stays on his feet whilst dribbling four or five defenders. And then he's able to tuck the ball away. Magical. Finishing is a massive component to Foden's brilliance. To redirect the ball like Foden takes hours of practice. Not to mention his bullet shot. Foden darts into the box and spots his teammates run which is unfortunately off camera. But he plays a perfect ball and his teammate finishes it off. The ball comes to Foden and he immediately looks for a teammate's run. And plays an absolutely perfectly timed, perfectly lofted pass to Haaland, who finishes it off. Foden quickly cuts off both defenders, leaving himself in space. And then offloads possession. Foden skips away from two defenders with ease and plays the ball to his teammate. Foden completely sends the defender with a drop of the shoulder. Foden takes a brilliant first touch, beating the defender and playing himself into space. And then he destroys both the defenders with a croquetta. And plays a bit of a cocky pass, let's be honest. Foden takes a touch around the defender, accelerates and then cuts him off. This is a great sort of formula for attackers to beat defenders. Go around, accelerate and then cut them off. Foden drops his shoulder to absolutely annihilate the defender. 
then plays a swift ball to his teammate. Foden plays an absolutely perfect ball straight onto his teammate's head, who finishes it off with ease. Foden picks out a great pass to his teammate. To summarise, Phil Foden is a complete player. His finishing is absolutely clinical and his ability to redirect the ball stands out to me. His dribbling is also spectacular. He specialises in drops of the shoulder. Foden can play both in midfield and on the wing. But how can you play like Phil Foden? For dribbling, I suggest that you simply play 1v1s against a friend. It's fun and the best way to improve your dribbling skills. Because dribbling with a, like an actual live defender, it's so much different to dribbling with cones. For your shooting, I recommend shooting with a goalkeeper. People do not understand how much having a goalkeeper actually improves your shooting. Your standards rise because you have to hit the ball well and accurate to score. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe to Football Analyze for high quality football analysis posted every single Monday, Wednesday and Friday. I'll see you guys in the next one.